I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make banana cream pie with the most delicious homemade caramel sauce that you probably ever had and it's so easy to do. Now to get this started, you're going to need some already made pastry cream and I'll talk about this in a minute, some water, granulated sugar, heavy cream, light corn syrup, whipped topping, unsalted butter, bananas and a 10 inch pre-made graham cracker crust. Now this is some, I already bought this just like this at the store, but if you can't find it, just take a cup and a half of crushed graham crackers, or you can also use like Maria crackers. I know those are pretty rarely available everywhere. So you can take a cup and a half of that, and then just take a stick of butter, which is 113 grams, roughly half a cup of unsalted butter or room temperature, it's nice and soft. Mix it, press it into a pie plate, and you have a perfect crust. But you know, sometimes I buy them pre-made just because it saves me a little bit of time, and they are on sale really often, so when they are, just grab, grab them up, and I have them on hand. Now this pastry cream is the same pastry cream that I used in my strawberry tart recipe, which I will link at the bottom of the video, and you can just go onto my website, click on the strawberry tart recipe, and there will be the recipe for this pastry cream, which is just, which is the cognac orange pastry cream. And you can leave the cognac completely out, and it will still be delicious. It's just a really good all-purpose um, pastry cream. You can put it into cream puffs, you know, you name it. And in this case, we're gonna put it with our banana cream pie, and it's gonna be so good. Okay, we're gonna make our own caramel sauce for this because. As you'll, when you'll see how delicious this looks, you'll understand why we'll go through the extra step of making, ourse making it ourselves. So we need to head over to the stove and get cooking. I have a pretty big nonstick pan here over a medium low heat. And to this, I'm gonna add in the water, half a cup of water, three quarters of a cup of regular granulated sugar, and a quarter cup of the light corn syrup. Now. The most important part with this is that you do not stir. You cannot put a utensil in here and stir it around. You can't do that. It will form like uh, sugar crystals and it'll be really difficult to work with. So you always just want to swirl. You never stir until the sugar dissolves and it comes to a boil. Now we're going to keep this in a medium low heat until the sugar dissolves and it comes up to a boil. Then we're going to turn the heat up to medium high and let it bubble away for about 10 minutes until it's like a nice deep amber color and then we're going to finish it up. Now that we reached a nice amber color, I'm gonna turn this all the way down to low, and very carefully, at this point, you wanna add in your cream. Now this is gonna seize up a bit, but don't worry, it's all gonna to come together. You'll see. Just keep mixing this up until everything is like a really nice, smooth sauce. Now that our caramel sauce is together, I'm gonna to turn the heat off, Add in our two tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature, really important, and a pinch of salt because that's really going to bring out all the flavors in the caramel sauce. Stir it till the butter melts and let this cool completely before the next step. Now that our caramel sauce is completely cooled, I sliced our three bananas, peeled and sliced them, put them in a large bowl. I'm going to now pour this caramel sauce all over the top of them. This is like the best part, in my opinion. Oh my god. Oh. That is so good. I can't take it. Let's give this a nice stir to make sure all the bananas are mixed with that fabulous caramel sauce. Now that we have that done, we're gonna put this, this will be like the first layer, in our nine inch graham cracker pie crust. And I'm just going to Kind of layer these out. You want to make sure they're all evenly spread out. Now on top of that, you're going to add your pastry cream. And like I said, this is the same pastry cream I used for my strawberry tart. So go ahead and check out that video and that recipe. If you don't want to go through troubles of making pastry cream, instant vanilla pudding works wonders. But it's not available everywhere in the world. So you have a couple options. Spread that out evenly. Now on top of that, we're gonna put in some whipped topping. You can make your own whipped cream if you want, or you can buy store-bought whipped cream. It doesn't really matter. I buy it just because it makes my life a little easier. But if you wanna make your own, just go right ahead and do that. And that's really 
all there is to it. Now, the only thing about this pie that's a bit of a pain in the neck is that you have to let it wait. You have to let it set in the fridge for about three hours so you can set up. Otherwise, if you go to slice it right now, it were to fall apart. Now, I have guests coming in a little bit, which means I'm not gonna have a chance to even get to it before everyone else does. So I'm gonna take a bite right now so I can describe you guys what this tastes like. I can't take it. I'm, I'm telling you, I just can't do it. It's so incredible. And I have a little bit of everything. I have the banana, the caramel, everything. It's gonna be a big one. Mmm. Wrap it up. I'm done. This is so good. I am a secret banana pie holic. I love banana cream pie. Love, 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 love it. And to be completely honest with you, I don't make it very often because of this reason. Because I'm about to dig completely into this. I want my face in it and go to town. It's that good. To get this recipe and other recipes, check out my website, www.laurinakitchen.com. I'll see you next time. How am I going to cover this up now?